Hey guys, welcome to another week's episode of Montana Haven, Alaska edition. <laughs> and hey, we're starting to um, take some of these salmon and we are going to do some salmon smoking, smoked salmon. So Ethan's cutting them into pieces. We've got a brine going on right here. You could take a picture of the recipe. Or, yes, I'll, or take is it a, a secret? I'll take a picture of the recipe. It's secret from my uncle Simon. Priscilla's <laughs> uncle Simon, but Simon, I'm sure you don't care if we share it, right? So here's the recipe. So you can pause the video and you can read this. Okay, back at it. So we've got everything mixed up. There's your brine, and we're chucking pieces of salmon in there. We're going to brine it for 10 hours. We're cutting them into smaller pieces. And these are sockeye salmon that we caught. There's some silvers and some pinks. So all of these uh, are going in there. And then we also did salmon bellies. So we're gonna see how those work. We've heard those are really delicious. All right, well, this morning, welcome back. It's a Monday morning and uh, we're we got these salmon that we soaked in uh, overnight in the brine. And now we're simply, uh, we put it in this um, strainer to strain uh, the juice off of it. And now we're simply letting it air dry. We're gonna put a fan on it so that it, it kind of dries tacky a little bit. And then we're gonna throw them in the smoker and then smoke them for uh, two and a half to three hours. Um, you can t tell, tell the difference. These are, these are pinks. These are not considered like the prime uh, fish of Alaska. As a matter of fact, a lot of people that have lived there a long time don't even eat pinks, but to us, they're still good, good fish. And then you can see these red ones here. These are uh, sockeyes or red salmon that we got. And these are actually the bellies. So we, we, uh, someone show, showed us how to cut off the bellies and use them for smoking rather than eating them. Um, so we're excited to try it. So you've got, here we've got silver salmon. We just wanna keep those separate, see if they actually taste different. I don't know if they do. And then we've got the bellies of the red salmon and mixed in. And then these lighter ones are called, the, are the pinks. So uh, they, we still have more in the house. So we're gonna go get everything laid out here, put a fan on them, get them tacky, drying a little bit. And then we're gonna stick them in the smoker. Now, I, we put saran wrap down here. Um, just so it doesn't uh, soak down onto the deck. We don't want this juice on the deck. So that's what, we, what we're what we doing here. And the reason we put them outside is, I don't know if it smells fishy, but we didn't want to have a fish smell inside the house. I don't really think it's it smells fishy, but maybe a little bit. So we're just gonna do it outside here. So keep the smell outside. Here's another project we're doing. Uh, we wanted to get this door stained on the inside. Still haven't got it done, but there's always things to do. And so this is just a project that's got to get done. So Justin's working on that. He's taping everything off. We're going to stain the inside. Should turn out about the same color as this trim, hopefully. And then on the outside, we're going to paint it. And that's going to be kind of match the roof and the trim on the windows. And there's the salmon. We're blow drying it, gonna let it sit there for a little while, and then we'll get the smoker going here shortly. Well, we got our fire going here and got our wood split. We're using birch, dry birch wood. We took all the bark off, or 99% of it. And here's our smoker that we brought from Montana. Haven't used it yet, so since we've been here, so we're gonna get this in here heated up for a while, let it get pretty hot, and then scrub the trays a bit, and then we'll put our salmon in here. Yep, it's that time of year again. Lobbing the locks. <laughs> I'm so thankful that Priscilla does it. So I don't have to bother to go somewhere and get it done. She does such a good job. So right now, we are taking the salmon to the smoker.
I think Justin or Ethan are still gonna try to get the outside of the door painted today. It's a little bit cool, but the sun is actually shining, so I think we need to get it done if we can. And I'm taking Priscilla out on her birthday. Today's her birthday, I may not have mentioned that. It's a birthday girl, so we're gonna go out to eat. Yes, I'm excited. Let's go I check on the fish. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. And Antonia from Libby. Yes. Priscilla's niece yeah, is here. My brother's daughter. And Justin's hanging up this sign in the bathroom. He's going to hang it up right there above the towel rack. I think that's going to look good. This is in the guest bathroom. Someone is taste testing. I actually had a little piece and it. it is so good. Mm. But it's only been in there like not too long, so we're. This is the top tray. We're going to move that further down. And then we just move the bottom trays up, switching them out. Looks delicious. <laughs> well, we're back from town, and there's the salmon, the last batch. It looks a little bit overdone, but I think it's probably okay. All right. <laughs> and there's the fam. <laughs> part of the family. Look at that lush green lawn. It's amazing how green it turned. It's amazing. We've got lots of groceries to take in. Well, one other thing we got was this big mirror <laughs> for our bathroom. We've not had a mirror in our bathroom yet all the time that we lived here. <laughs> Hope it fits. Yeah, it fits sideways. Oh yeah, it is going to go there. in. It's, it's going to go in. Actually. Very nice. Wow. Oh, that'll be nice wrong. to have a mirror. Oh. Wow, that will <laughs> yeah. be nice. I love I it. See if I try to groom myself. I can just look at that mirror. <laughs> <laughs> and I need it more than uh, you do. <laughs> cool. Well, we'll hang it tomorrow. Yep. All right, the company just showed up. Let's go. Yeah. Tell them hi. Here they come, all the way from Montana. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mama. May the good Lord bless you. Cool off fast enough, so it was falling apart, so we just made it in the pudding. Sort of. <laughs> it looks amazing. It actually looks delicious. Well, here we are finally. Yes. There's my sister Leona and my sister Becky on the couch, and my brother-in-law Philip. So and wonderful having them here. Yep. For my birthday. Mom and Dad and Dee. Yeah. Oh, nice. Thank you, Chloe. Mm. Oh, I want. I wanted these. <laughs> I always wanted these. Thank you, dear. Yeah, they're like salad claws. Oh, wow! This is your Shanna. Yeah. Would you rather go on the ground or the soy? Oh, this one. I like this one. Wow. <laughs> Come open the door. I was suspicious. He got something in Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby! No way! Did it get wet? Oh, it was like that. Ay, ay, ay. Well, today we are taking 
our company up to Gold Cord Lake, which is going to be right up there in that bowl. And we're making our way up. Not too many people around today. Nice and chilly, but just beautiful. Fresh snow on the mountains. <laughs> Almost there, yep. and there it is. Reflected so well, you can hardly see it. It's such a beautiful spot up here, but I think now we're going to head back down and we're going to go over Hatcher Pass and we're going to show them Summit Lake next and maybe they're going to want to go on a hike up towards April Bull Lakes. I don't know yet. We'll see, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful place to be up here. It's cloudy and it's cool, but it's still very beautiful. This is the top of Hatcher Pass and there's Summit Lake. And it's snowing or raining actually a little bit here. Snowing over there. Well, we came back from a hike and Michael and his company were burning these brush piles. So I thought I'd jump on and throw some more wood on here while we're at it. Well, we got quite a bit done here. I've been working the last hour and a half. That is a massive pile burning over there. Got all this area cleaned up on this side. And Michael and his, his dad and a friend cleaned the other side. And it looks amazing. They did such a beautiful job. Clean up all the brush. This right here is where we had uh, cleared to put our power in. And so we just threw the logs and the brush on the side because we were, you know, in a hurry to build our house. And it's looking so good. There's still more logs. I think maybe tonight when I come back, I'll get some of these logs and more junk in here. But anyways, it's uh, time to go to dinner and we have the company for dinner. So I'm sure Priscilla is anxious for me to get inside and, and uh, get cleaned up and help. I got a propane fire pit for Priscilla's birthday, so we're putting it together. But now the company's here, so I gotta run. There we go. Look at that. That is cool. <laughs> wow. That is amazing. That screen is going to be tossed once it's heated up, I guess, apparently. Nice. Well, good morning, everyone. And it's a fine, dandy, wet, soggy morning. And I got up this morning uh, a little early and I came out here, pushed the fire together and threw a whole bunch more uh, branches and logs and whatnot on the fire. So it's definitely looking a little bit better. There's still a lot of dead trees up in here. Wish I'd have the time just to go and, you know, saw them all down, but I just don't have the time for that. So that'll be for another year or another time. But today, uh, we're taking my sisters and my family, um, and we're heading down towards, or my company. Some of them went fishing actually with a charger. So the rest of them and my the ones that came out, my, my sisters and brother-in-law, we're gonna head down towards Seward today and maybe the Kenai and just spend some time with them, drive around, show them a little bit of Alaska and just, I guess, hang out. And then tomorrow we start a project, a building project. So spend some time with them today and get started working tomorrow. Okay, I think it's breakfast time. So better head in the house and see what Priscilla's got cooking.
Well, guys, we ended up not going to sewer today. Uh, there was a mix up and they didn't make it to the fishing place today. It's actually tomorrow. So they came back and the girls are just doing some shopping and got my chainsaw here, a 500i still. And we're going to be cutting down some of these big birch trees and we're going to make a space for a future garage. And so this winter I can just park uh, the vehicles and stuff in this space. So here we go. It's time to start cutting. Oh, <laughs> 
making progress look at this we got it all cleared out and now we just got to haul some of this uh, brush here and a pile of roots and that's just about it those logs got it all back dragged and ready to park my trailers and stuff in here feature garage all right there's the last load I worked fast and furious and there's the spot all cleaned up now i still gotta move those logs but not tonight but i'm so happy i can now park all these trailers back in here and it's a future garage site very nice an afternoon's worth of work good morning everyone hey we are i'm on top of i think it's a 40 by 80 uh shop and you see this roof right here well we're giving them a new roof what we're basically doing <clears throat> we're going to take these i'm going to call them sleepers they're metal joists and we're going to put eight rows per side and basically put a new roof on top because this thing leaks <clears throat> that's what you wanted so that's what we're going to give her so uh thankfully it's not raining right now it rained during the night and <clears throat> this morning and it might rain this afternoon but right now we're good to go so hopefully we can knock this out we're shooting for five days It'd be nice if we could get it done sooner of course, but we want to do a fantastic job for her and make sure that she's well taken care of and happy. And this is the same lady that we built the log pavilion for. If you didn't see that video, go back and check it out. It's a couple of videos ago. Um, so there we go. Time to get to work. You guys, check it out. Look who showed up. Avalon and Priscilla with coffee. And my sister, Leona. That's awesome. Time for a coffee break. All right, guys. Well, yesterday we got all these roof huggers on right there, and then it started to rain, so we had to cover the whole roof. 
last night. And now this morning we are getting the new roof put on. We almost got one side done. About three more sheets here. We got a caulk on top of each overlap rib here. And above each one of those, we ran Lexel. Make this baby waterproof. Tonight, we're having a lot of company. We're gonna make a big bonfire. And rather than try to go get some split firewood, you know what, we've got some dead standing wood. Check this out, we're just gonna saw down a tree. Priscilla wants a big fire and she's gonna get one. This is some of the fare we're experiencing. Silver salmon, and there is not much left of this salmon. Right, that was sockeye. Homemade buns, and we've got dessert over here. And I see Priscilla's coming with tea and coffee. And we've got a great bonfire with all these friends. Pretty awesome. Hey, good morning. It's a Saturday morning and Justin, Ethan and I are moose hunting. It's a really wet, soggy, cloudy, foggy morning, but it's so beautiful. Let me show you around a little bit. Ethan just spotted our first two moose. We think they're cows. Justin's grazing on blueberries. But they are out there, about right there, in the willows, probably about 500 yards away. Now, we just gotta find a bowl. I have a quick update here. So we've we took the, our uh, four-wheeler and went a couple miles up this really nasty, muddy trail. It was terrible. And then we parked and we've been walking for quite a while. Actually, we spent quite a bit of time glassing and then we started walking. And so far, I think we've seen nine moose. It's pretty incredible. Ethan went and spotted most of them. But uh, so far, most of them were cows. A couple we couldn't tell in one of them we think was a spike. He was about a half a mile away, so we came down after him, Justin and I did. But uh, he was nowhere to be found, so we are just kind of stuck in this area down here. We're just gonna make a big loop. There's a lot of moose sign around, so maybe we'll bump something out of here. I'm not sure, but Ethan is just up there glassing, and uh, I don't know if he's seeing something, but hopefully uh, he's gonna bring the four-wheeler around and meet us at a certain spot then later on. But Justin and I are going to be um, making a big loop through here and yeah, it's just real foggy. It's been raining the whole day, but I guess that's what moose like to do the rut is just kind of starting. 
I would have thought there'd be more bowls with the cows, but we haven't been seeing bowls, so I'm not sure what the deal is. All right, we'll carry on. No mooses for us today, at least so far. We're coming back out, and I just had to show you these amazing mountains. Fresh snow, clouds lifted a little bit more, and now you can kind of see the tops. It just stopped raining probably about the first time today. Just soaked all day. We saw a lot of moose. Ethan saw even more while he was parked up there, but no bulls. Well guys, today we're out on our boat at Big Lake, Alaska with some of my friends. And look at this, John here caught himself a really nice little, I think it's a Arctic char, I think. Uh. Whoa, almost lost him there. Very nice. Pretty windy out here. We're just hanging out, doing some fishing. Well, tonight it's pizza time. All our friends are leaving tomorrow morning, so we're celebrating one final time with a lot of pizza.